over to my channel. My name is Deborah, and if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I love you. Welcome back to the wedding series, and today we'll be talking about things wedding guests cares about. I know the wedding is about you, but you have to consider your wedding guests. Make sure they are happy. Make sure they are comfortable because when they are happy, they are gonna give you more money. That's just a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so without further parana and serene. Can we move straight into action? So the most point I have here is food and drink. See, we are coming to your wedding, we are coming to eat. And it's not as if we are hungry or like we will not see food to shop in our house. A big kiniko kiniko. But if you invite me to your wedding, deep down my head like this, I've pictured the wedding jollof fries. People will say this jollof fries, wedding jollof fries is always sweeter than the normal jollof fries you cook at home. I don't know how true that is because my own jollof fries that like, cut me sweet. But when I'm coming to your wedding, I'm thinking about food. However, I was stressed by my mom that when you are going to a party, make sure you are filled. Like you are not going with an empty stomach because you may not be able to eat. But even if I am filled, I still want to eat on top of my fillness. <laughs> so what I'm saying is make sure there is preparation for food. If you're expecting 300 people, make sure there's food for 500 people. See, wedding food does not waste. Food is important, like food is king. So please, and make sure you are giving the food to a good catcher so they cook something yummy and delicious. You don't want to be eating the rice and there is a put out there like you are eating rice like this. And your teeth is fighting with stones. No. Buy good rice, give good catcher, and make sure there's food in abundance. Like, we love food. And give us good drinks. Let there be water. It's not like you give us rice. You don't give us water. You want us to choke to death. Do you want to kill us? <laughs> so, I'm talking on behalf of the other wedding guests. The things we care about. I care about food and I'm coming to your wedding. And I care about drinks and I'm coming to your wedding. So, let's move to the next point. It's the second thing we care about when you want to invite us to your wedding is dates. Now, Say you are inviting me to your wedding and your wedding is on the 24th of December when Christmas is the next day a lot of people will not come to your wedding and like you won't be able to come except if you are actually trying to cut down guests then you can consider a date that you feel they would not be able to come my wedding was December and it was a good day because my wedding was a good day wedding and because it was the first week of December like 2nd of December it was just as if it was more like November ending so, even if you want to do your wedding in December, first Saturday is fine. So, second Saturday, then there will be lots of engagements, end of the year party at their place of work. There will be church carol and all that. So, fixing your wedding for like December 18, December 23 and all that really does not make sense. Except if, it is, if that is what you want. Just in like 2nd of January, oh no. Second of January is a no because I remember there was a January I was going back to school when I was in the university. I waited for six hours before I could see a bus and I don't even see a bus. Luckily for me, it was a friend of mine that was going to school with his friend that that gave us a lift to school. So, like second, third of January, lots of people are traveling back to their base and your house is going to see Shege. The eyes of your guests will see Shege too. So Shege will marry Shege on your wedding day. As you are marrying, Shege too is marrying. <laughs> so the date you pick is important to us. You don't want to pick a day that will stress, that will stress the guest and will stress the bride. So your date is important to us. If you really want me to come see your wedding, you have to consider the date. So what date is good for people? So festive period, advisably, is not okay. Except if you want to pursue people, you don't want us to come, and it's okay, we understand, you will not come. <laughs> and the next point is weather. I mean, we really care about your weather. So for someone like me, I don't like rain. So I'm now your chief's bridesmaid. <laughs> and I put your wedding ready today. I mean, I still rain. I will tap her. I don't want to disappoint someone like that. That's a joke, right? And the chief's bridesmaid should be in your hotel a day before. So even though my wedding was not in rainy season, it was part of our prayer. My mommy will say, Oluwa, 
number. Cause so, so what are the big parts of your wedding? And the weather will determine how your wedding will turn out. So pray that God gives you a good weather, even if you're even if it's a raining season, or even if it's not a raining season, because it's going to affect your guests and they'll feel bad when they are dressed in rain during your wedding. So pray seriously for weather, pray for a good weather. That we call on for you, Lord God, that God should give you a good weather and a good and a stable weather. Yeah, I remember the friend of mine got married during winning season, and rain did not fall that day. Like God gave them that day, so it's important. Pray that God gives you the day. God gives you a good weather, good lightning, good sunlight, good everything. And another thing, what you guys cares about is where we are going to park our car. I'm going to link my video in the description box how to search for a good venue for your wedding. You should watch that video. You will get an event and people have to go and park and trek for under 10 minutes to come to your hall because there's no way to park. So we care about where we are going to park our car because our car is important to us. And people, bad things happen in wedding, especially if it's a big wedding. Some people will deliberately come to do Ishebi. Ishebi means bad work. Like some will come to steal stuff in people's car. Some will come to even carry the whole car. I said the story in my last video. Go back and watch it. How a friend that car was stolen in a wedding. So we pack. We care about where we are going to pack. So please, when choosing your hall, consider us. Is there enough space for us to pack? Do you understand? The next thing we care about is timing. Yeah, well, we know it's your day. On my wedding, did I let people? Yes, I did. However, don't make it too much. You can let people for one hour. But telling us you, you start your event by 8 o'clock and you're starting by 12 o'clock, it doesn't make sense. I know this may not go as planned for wedding, but try your best and don't delay people too much. I delay people too. I'm a, I'm, I'm a culprit. So I think we do for like one and a half hours. Yeah. And they were calling, calling, calling. But we had to take pictures and that was not really our fault. So and. We were, we were very fast about it. I was concerned about people, but at the same time, pictures is good to me. We are gonna take our pictures, so we delayed a bit. It wasn't too much like that, but we delayed a bit. Do you understand? Like one hour and some minutes. So it's important that you you consider timing. Don't just keep people waiting and you're like, it's my day. If they can't wait, they should wait. If they cannot wait, they can go. It's really not fair. Can, should, will you delay people? Yes, you will. Of course, we expect you to delay us. If, if I'm going to a wedding and the time is 11 o'clock, I'm going by 12 o'clock because I know you will delay. And because I know stuff to happen that will make you delay. But don't let me get there by 1 o'clock and you've still not started the event. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so time me. How long are you delaying us? How long are we waiting? It is very important. Then another thing guests care about in your wedding is music and entertainment. Hey, as the bedu do the entire body. Hey, 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 hey. body. As the bedu, please invest in good DJ. Don't go and carry a DJ that has scones on his head. Good DJ that will give good music. And I told my DJ, you have to be available. As early as nine, you have to be on grand. So immediately we are done with church. When people are coming and the bride has not yet arrived, make sure you are giving them good bedroom to old body. So even if you are late, a bit late, let them be good bedroom on grand. Let let them be live band if you can afford it. Make sure they are giving us good bedroom and our body is sempe sempe. Like I can feel like okay, this is oh one bed is a point. So. I care about my the entertainment when I go to parties. I care about the music. Give us DJ. Don't just keep us waiting and we're now looking like mm -hmm. no. That period when we are waiting, give us DJ. And even when the event starts, make sure you choose good music selection. I think I'll add a link to the description box of of the wedding series so you can check them out. I spoke about importance of selecting music for your DJ too. So select your music with your DJ. So it's giving us on point music and try to mix up the music, do hip hop, do Fuji, like Kishemi Monche Adeori or King. So because there are different mix in the in in the hall. So there are some Fuji music that makes sense that our parents would love to listen to. There are some Christian songs. 
and imbibe the music select the music that your dj would play when the prize is not yet inside make sure it is very very important to keep them entertained to make them happy and if you are using a live band make sure you discuss with them if you are not yet on grand they should be giving us poppy music poppy 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 hey hey poppy poppy so it is very very important we care about that in fact by the time it's one hour we would not know because we are engrossed with music we are enjoying ourselves and all that so and during the event make sure the live band is on point make sure the dj is on point make sure you entertain or don't compromise on mc don't compromise on dj because it's important like even for you as a bride it's important then the next thing we care about is your venue your seating arrangement ventilation is it like you want to choke us with with body holder that is oozing around the room because i'm unable to sit down and i'm standing up does that make sense so i get home and i have to tell my husband to massage my leg because i came to your party and i have to stand for four hours so make sure there is good sitting arrangement for us and everyone is not choked like like you packed goats you understand so i have to understand that human beings are coming for your event except you invited monkeys <laughs> i'm just joking so we care about the distant arrangement we care about how we sit we care about how comfortable we have so you also should care about that as well then the next thing guests cares about at your event is souvenir see fam you have to give people souvenir because souvenir is like especially, especially in Nigerian weddings you see people fighting over souvenir yeah. like hey people are giving me and all that and these days people are giving out souvenirs that make sense apart from giving out plastic spoons they are giving out electric fan and you'll be like wow is this souvenir like and i'm not saying you should give out electric fan even if it's just that you can afford make sure there's provision for souvenir for people that really tried for your event plan for souvenir for your friends and for the people you invited it is crucial and it is important so that after a long time when i see the souvenir I'll be like oh i went to this wedding four years ago and they gave me a souvenir uh -huh. so you can say good good things about your wedding give us souvenir don't be stingy <laughs> so if you got value please like my content and subscribe so you don't miss out any of my video when they come out share to the bride to be you know and I'm certain this info would be of them. Another thing we care about when it comes to your wedding is connection. Now, I tried as much as I can, though it's always very hard if it's a big wedding to greet people. So when I was coming in, immediately I sighted someone I know. I, Yoruba people actually count more because they be like, hey, I went to a wedding. She just passed beside me like this. She cannot even say hello. So if I come in contact with you, ah, mommy, thank you, ma, thank you so much for coming, ma. Ah, daddy, eh, she go, sir. Though it was not easy, but I tried to be intentional about greeting people, people I came in contact with, and the people I could walk to go and greet. That one was actually very hard because immediately we were done with engagement. It was reception straight, and we were running out of time. So every morning I said that I could greet in my power. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I greet you, thank you, thank you. People really love it and they admire it. Because when they get up, they'll say, hey, isn't that bright? She just passed in front of me like this. She was going to come. She cannot even say, ah, mommy, I'm going to go. I could it. So, you have to try and greet. Ah, mommy, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And they will pray for you to, ah, I'm going to go. 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 Try your best. I know this is very hard. It's very hard. Because it was kind of very taxing for me to start greeting people. I'm tired. I'm exhausted and all that, but if you come in contact with anyone, please greet them and acknowledge them. And if you have the luxury of time, you and your husband go from table to table to greet people. Oh, I share a good deal. I share my I share sell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People feel honored when you try to connect with them. When you try to when you try to acknowledge them and they feel like oh I matter the bride saw me the husband saw me they were happy and they recognized me and all that because people coming to your events they have spent money time and all that so they want to feel recognized so so then try to smile on your day don't do like this like <laughs> some and some people can actually frown their face because of maybe they fed them with bad news it doesn't matter what comes your way. You have to smile. Hey, yeah, well, you have to smile though. So, irrespective of what is happening, don't carry it on your face. You have to smile at people when they come to greet you. Smile. 
because they would not know that something happened that's why you are frowning they don't want to understand so try and smile but even if they came to tell you food has finished still smile <laughs> well please make preparation ahead so that there's enough food don't invite more than you can handle that's always my advice don't invite more than you can handle people try to take offense and pick offense like hey she wasn't smiling even if you say how she greets me she was like oh, mommy so and did you not know what happened maybe someone actually vexed you or something but regardless i promised myself i'm going to smile all through i don't want to be doing like this no i want to be i want to smile and i want to be happy all through my wedding it was important for me and all that because videographer are covering the event and you're doing like this and after the way you, you are watching your videos and you're like now fine thank you so much for watching my content please hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos when they come out also help me like this video so that youtube can push me out to more people thank you for your support thank you for coming back to watch my content and i am going to see you in my next video 